Hey, what is up guys? This is Josh, aka Ubanubified, and this is actually our very first non-gaming video. I actually wanted to bring some March Madness into uh, my channel. So, um, starting off, I really just wanted to tell you guys what my brackets are looking like. I made two brackets. One is my actual competition bracket, which I use to, like, which I actually predict stuff. And one is a strategy bracket. So the strategy bracket is pretty much for me and my dad. My dad and I, uh, we usually have strategies when we face each other in March Madness. Like, uh, he would, like, we would have strategies, meaning, like, he would cheat, whoever, which, what team would win would have the better of the strategy or whatever. So, my dad, one year, he picked which team had the cooler court or which team had the, uh, better location to live in or stuff like that. So, um, this year, I chose which team had the highest amount of rebounds. So, I'm going, like, uh... A terrible tournament bracket strategy. <laughs> terrible after uh, Charles Barkley, a.k.a. the round mound of rebound. See? There we go. So, um, I believe I am going to do my little strategy bracket first. So, if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. It's just uh, which team had uh, the highest amount of rebounds or was ranked higher than the other. So, um, in the first round, we have uh, Kentucky. Yukon, Wichita State, New Mexico State, uh, UNLV and Baylor, uh, Xavier and Duke, Duke, uh, then we have Syracuse, and I believe Kansas State, and then we have Vanderbilt and Wisconsin. Vanderbilt, Wisconsin, uh, Cincinnati and Florida State, Cincy, Florida State, and then we have, where's, uh, oh, Gonzaga and West Virginia, we have West Virginia, and, uh, Ohio State, so now going down, wow, we have Michigan State versus LIU Brooklyn. We have LIU winning. We have Memphis winning. We have New Mexico and then Davidson. Uh, Murray State and BYU. If BYU makes it, so... Uh, we're just going to put that there. And Florida and Norfolk. I'm sorry, guys. I am actually still sick, so sorry for the sniffing. And then we have UNC. UNC, and then we have, I believe, oh, Crichton. I think that's how you pronounce it, Crichton. And then we have Temple, Ohio, NC State, Georgetown, St. Mary's, and Kansas? Yeah, Kansas. Okay, so we're just going to go right from here. So between St. Mary's and Kansas... Uh, Kansas had the better uh, amount of rebounds. And then we had uh, North Carolina State. And then we had Temple. And we had UNC. And uh, over this, we had LIU beating Memphis. We had Davidson beating New Mexico. Uh, BYU beating Murray State. And Norfolk beating Florida. So up here, uh, we have Kentucky beating UConn, New Mexico State beating uh, Wichita State, UNLV beating Baylor, and Xavier beating Duke. Over here, we have Kansas State. Ooh, wow, I'm getting tired. Uh, Vandy. Uh, Florida State and West Virginia. Okay, so we got that um, done. I believe that is the Sweet 16. So now we have the Elite 8. So um, between these guys, we have uh, Kansas State and West Virginia and New Mexico. 
and Davidson. Wait, New Mexico and UNLV. There we go. And then we down here we have Davidson and BYU if they make it. And over here we have UNC. Oopsies, I kind of just uh actually no, that's right. UNC and uh Kansas? No, uh North Carolina State. And then we have UNC uh, Davidson, oh yeah, Davidson, New Mexico State, and uh, West Virginia, and then we have uh, New Mexico State beating Davidson, and we have UNC beating West Virginia. Oopsies. Okay, so um, the champion. Of course, the number one overall overall in we're in la, la, la. <laughs> the number one overall in rebounds is UNC. So, the national championship for my strategy bracket will be UNC. Um, that was all based off a uh, little rebounding. So, uh, we got that, and now we should speed through this one a little faster. I'm sorry, guys. I was a little I was pretty slow there. I, I was looking down at my bracket. So, um, right here, this is actually my legit bracket. How I chose everything. So we have, let's just uh, fill this out, Kentucky. Uh, let me put this in front of my face so I can just read it really quick. Kentucky, UConn, VCU. VCU. Uh, Indiana, ULV, UNLV. And Baylor. Xavier and Duke. And over here, we have... Syracuse, uh, Kansas State, Vanderbilt, Wisconsin, Cincy, uh, Florida State, uh, West Virginia, and Ohio State. Well, we're just going to go through the top bracket really quick just so we can get that done with. So next we have Kentucky and VCU, and then we have uh, Baylor and Duke. Um, then we have Q's beating Kansas State. That's going to be hard without Fab, uh, Fab Mello. And then we have uh, Vandy beating Wisconsin. And Florida State beating Cincinnati. And OSU beating West Virginia. Uh, the reason why I'm, why I'm taking Ohio State pretty far, it's either I believe they're either going to just like plop right out, say they're going to be a fail, or they're going to take it all the, t all the way to the house. That's... That's one thing. So um, then we got, uh, who do we have? We have OSU beating Florida State. And we have uh, Cuse beating Vandy. That was a hard choice for me, but I had to choose uh, Cuse over Vandy. And then we have Ohio State going to the Final Four. So uh, then we have Kentucky beating VCU. That was another hard choice, but I thought Kentucky had a better team. And then we have Baylor beating Duke. And then we have Kentucky going to the Final Four. So now we're going on to the bottom. I'm sorry, guys. This video shouldn't be this long, but uh, just because of my separate brackets, I made it a little longer. So then we got Michigan State. We got Memphis. New Mexico. Louisville. Uh, Murray State. Marquette. Florida and Missouri. And then on this side, we've got UNC. I believe Bama. Then Temple, Ohio, North Carolina State. I'm sorry if you kind of like heard me like move to the side a little. It's just because I'm reading it to the side. And then we got Georgetown over Belmont. St. Mary's over Purdue. That was just kind of just because they were the higher rank. I didn't really look into that one that much. And uh, Kansas over Detroit. So uh, then we got Kansas beating St. Mary's. And we've got... North Carolina State moving on over Georgetown. Uh, we've got Temple over Ohio. And I believe UNC over Bama. And then UNC over Temple. And North Carolina State pulling, on, pulling it off over Kansas. 
So right here, um, most of you guys are like, Josh, you are just stupid. I'm telling you guys, if you have any chance, go back and watch that ACC game. Uh, I believe it was to get into the championship versus uh, or NC State versus UNC. You'll see that NC State got pulled out of that game unfairly. I mean, the the calls were unfair. That in, that's at least in my opinion. I'm sorry to any UNC fans. You have to admit that there was some pretty bad calls there. Um, and I'm thinking if you, if NC State can play with the same mindset that they did versus UNC in that game, they can definitely pull it off to the Final Four. So I have NC State winning over UNC. So they are in the Final Four. And then we got um, uh, Memphis and or Michigan State and Memphis. I have MSU pulling it off over Memphis, and then I have Louisville pulling it off over New Mexico. Um, Murray State pulling it off over Marquette. Um, I know the record just shows thirty and one. Uh, I hope they can pull it off, but I don't know. And then we have Missouri over uh, Florida. Then we have Missouri beating Murray State and Louisville beating off the number one Michigan State. This one was another tough one for me, but it would be cool to kind of see Kentucky versus Kentucky there. So um, Louisville pulls off the win. So right here, this was another really tough choice. It was Kentucky versus Kentucky. I, bo I like both of these schools, I'm not going to lie. But I was thinking, you know, I believe that Kentucky has just a crazy amount of talent. So I picked them to go into the national championship over um, Louisville. And then right here, honestly, I picked OSU because I've been an OSU fan forever. And I think if they can't win it this year, then I have no clue. Uh, I thought they were either going to do really well or just do really bad. But I think that man, is, he's going he's gonna to take them far. So then we got Kentucky versus Ohio State, number one versus number two. Um... The number one, the, the team that everybody thinks that always is going to do good. I remember when John Wall was on Kentucky, everybody thought, easy, that's an easy national championship. And then when uh, Derrick Rose was on Memphis, everybody thought national championship. Um, I think it's it's going to come down to the line, and I believe OSU, Ohio State University, will pull it off. So I'm sorry if you guys didn't like my brackets. It's just my choice. I kind of researched some, uh, but... Pretty much this one was based on my opinion, and uh, I, I'm not, I don't watch that much college basketball, but when I do, I actually kind of observe it, and I uh, I look at how the players play, and how their team is just, how their teammate chemistry is. So yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it, really, it was kind of long. I think it was 15 minutes for just brackets, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I had a great time uh, filling out these brackets, and I just thought, why not do a video, you know? I just want you guys to know what I am, uh, who I'm rooting for, and who I think is going to win. So, uh, hope if you guys can tell me in the comment section below, who do you have winning, or what is your biggest upset uh, in your bracket? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. You know who it is. It is Josh, a.k.a. Ubenubified, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.